Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of satellite communications. In today's class, we are going to learn about satellite communication system. The diagram what you see here, the diagram what you see here is in configuration of a satellite communication. Okay. So if you uh, see the diagram carefully, okay, it consists of two users. Okay. So each user is connected to a terrestrial system. And this terrestrial system is connected to an earth station where we already know an earth station is a player way, place where we communicate with the satellites, okay, which are moving in the orbit above the earth. And this earth station communicates with the satellite. Again, the satellite gets connected with the another earth station at another place or located at another part of the country or some other place. Okay, That earth station is again connected to a terrestrial system. And this terrestrial system is located or uh, connected uh, with the help of an another user. Now here in this basic block diagram of a communication system, what's happening is two users are accessing a single satellite for a communication purpose. Okay. So if you take an example of how this communication is happening. So uh, let us take an example of a mobile communication or a uh, live uh, live show communication system. Let us say, suppose this user is trying to access the signal from the terrestrial system. So this user, something, let us say, uh, a phone conversation is going on or somebody is recording a live from a particular area. Okay. So this particular, let us say, this is user one. This is user one and this is user two. Okay. Now let us say the user one is recording some live. Okay. And this user one, whatever the live is getting recorded, that should be received by this particular user two. Okay. Or whatever the user one is trying to convey, that should be received by the user two in a communication system. But let us say, this user one and user two are very, very far away distances. Let us say in somewhat some different parts of a uh, world or an earth. Okay. Now how this communication system happens. If you see the basic communication procedure, okay. Suppose whatever the user one is recording or whatever the user one is gathering the data, that data is given to the first terrestrial system here in satellite communication terrestrial system refers to the uh, person or an contractor or the system which is giving services or uh, it can be any kind of vendor or it can be any kind of a service okay which is uh, used to transmit the signal to the earth station let us say like uh, some services called as uh, the mobile services or the dth services the provider service providers will be there right here these terrestrial systems can be considered as our service provider uh, who will be giving signals for our particular uh, DTH connection, TV lives or some kind of uh, mobile communication systems. Now, user one sends, initially user one initially sends the signal to the terrestrial system, which are our service provider. The service provider gives the signal to the earth station. Now, as we have already said, the earth station have a huge antennas which are used to communicate with the satellite. If you see here, there is a single satellite which is communicating between the two users, user one and user two. Now the earth station receives the signal. That signal may contain any kind of data. It can be a live video streaming or a mobile communication or anything. Okay. So this earth station takes the data from the terrestrial system, which we are calling it as a service provider. And this signal is transmitted to the particular satellite, which is moving in the orbit. Okay. Now the process of sending the data from the user one to the satellite or the process of transmitting the data from user one to the satellite using an earth station can be considered as uplink. Okay. Now from the user one, the data has been transmitted to the satellite. Okay. Now what we need to do using the same satellite, we need to transmit the signal to the user two. Okay. User two can be a, any kind of broadcast system or a TV or something like that. Okay. 
now this user to need to uh, receive the signal it can be a live video streaming or a mobile communication system okay uh, user to need to receive the signal okay which is sent by user one okay now at this point the user one which uh, which already sent the data is at satellite right now okay now what happens is whatever the signal the satellite received from the earth station of user one okay now the signal will be received to the another part of the country where we want to transmit okay so this particular earth station is belonging to the user two and this particular earth station belong to user one okay now the satellite retransmits the same signal to the earth station of user two so earth station again what we have said it is a huge antenna station where it will be communicating with the satellite okay as soon as the transmitter re, uh, i mean as soon as the satellite retransmits the signal to the user to earth station earth station sends the same signal to the terrestrial system here again what we are mentioning terrestrial system is nothing but the service provider who are providing the service to the particular user it can be again a live stream video or a dth te telecommunication services or a mobile communication services okay now this terrestrial system or the service provider take the signal from the earth station of that particular country and provide the output data to the user 2 okay now user 2 will be able to access the whole data which is sent by user 1 so here on the whole a satellite acting as an interface between this user 1 as well as user 2 now the process of taking the signal from the satellite sent by user 1 and receiving by the user 2 from here till here okay so this process is called downlink okay so this uplink as well as downlink will be having their own independent frequency the uplink can be of different frequency f1 and the downlink may be of different frequency f2 need not to be same according to the compatible frequency bands they will be keep on operating okay so whenever you want to transmit any signal from one point to another point throughout the world or the earth or whenever you want to communicate the data from some other planets to the earth okay we are using a, a huge machinery is called as satellites where these satellites acts as a repeaters or transponders okay with the help of some uh, setup which will be having some sort of antennas to transmit as well as receive the signals okay so whenever you are giving some information or data to the or signal to the satellite it is called as uplink and whenever you are taking or receiving the signal from the uh, satellite that will be considered as downlink these two links uplink as well as downlink will be operating on their own independent frequencies that frequency can be anything okay both may not to be same okay now this is the basic configuration of a satellite communication okay now this is the whole uh, uh, points theoretical points regarding the satellite communication system what i have explained till now okay so those uh, points uh, will be repeated over here this is the theoretical part just i have written the points okay you can take the notes from this one and coming to the satellite communication systems example i have already taken tv line programs okay so here the main advantage of a satellite communication system is same satellite communication can be done from one earth station to n number of earth stations okay so it can be a one point to multi point as well okay throughout the world example tv right program suppose we are trying to capture a live video from one point same like a cricket match or something else same live can be broadcasted to several parts of the okay countries or several parts of the world okay so 1.2 multi point communication can also be done using a satellite communication system the best example is tv live programs okay and coming to the advantages of satellite communication system it has got larger coverage area and high bandwidth is available whenever the high bandwidth is available huge data can be transmitted 
uh, easily with high quality okay and global coverage as well as global communication of course will be done okay and full international roaming to mobiles with the help of satellite communication we can communicate throughout the world from any point okay so and uh, as i have already said it will be also having high transmission capability and point to point and point to multi point communication also will be done along with the point to point communication okay and satellite to satellite transmission is also possible and is also very precise okay very exact coming to the disadvantages along with the advantages we also have few disadvantages so let's see what are those disadvantages the most common disadvantages are the launching of satellites into orbit is very very costly okay and there is longer propagation delay sometimes there might be a signal signal delay or the propagation delay sometimes it happens due to the climatic conditions or some technical issue okay once we launch the satellites into the space okay and if there are any problems detected okay or if at all you want to detect any kind of problems okay so this detection of problems or rectification of problems after launching the satellite into space will be very very difficult so these are the major disadvantages what we face Thank you.